chance to come up. I'm just so excited for this opportunity. I've been working really hard to try to make this world team. Um, and I think just having that breakout summer and that chance to compete at the international stage of the Diamond League really set myself up for success this indoor season. And I just want to keep building and getting new experiences. And I think being able to go to Worlds is going to really help me for the outdoor season. Take us through the, the last lap and how it's set up for you. Did you, did yeah. you like where you were? So my plan was that if it was a little bit of a slower race, that at 1,000 meters, I was going to work that next 100 to give myself a chance for a really fast last 400. And honestly, I tried to go around Ellie probably three times <laughs> off surges on the um, straights, and she held me off. And um, it was like frustrating in the moment, but I just tried to really push it. And um, I knew everyone was still there because I could feel the bodies. And I just gave it my all that last hundred. I just wanted to go into the race, like going for the win, not being afraid to lose. Did you see Heather coming at the end or was that a surprise? I knew someone was behind me because I kept getting my heels hit. I didn't know who it was, um, but I know Heather has a great kick. And I knew all the girls would be kicking really hard in the 15. So I just wanted to position myself in the best spot going into the last 200. Have you uh, changed your approach going uh, from outdoors to indoors? Uh, I think I'm just a little bit more confident and not afraid to put myself in it earlier. A lot of my races in the past have been like moving up from the back and kind of surprising people, but I've had to work really hard to like get to the front, but that style allows me to like have momentum. So now I'm just learning how to race and be better from the front, but still have a close. And I think the close isn't there yet. Like if the paces were slower, I'd have a better one. So that's something that I want to work on. Are you surprised that the Ellie didn't take it out harder? Um, yes, I thought, I honestly was prepared for a time trial like Milrose. And I thought it was either going to go like that or go slow. But I also, I knew at Milrose she didn't want to lead. So I thought there was a chance she wouldn't want to lead again. But I knew I didn't want to lead. so. Um, she kind of took it and she's been getting that role a couple times now, but um, yeah, I think I expected it to like wind up every single lap and it kind of lagged for a little bit longer. So were you getting nervous when that wasn't happening when you two were not breaking away? Yeah, so I started, I wanted to try to go, but every time I wanted to go 400 and try to rip a 60, but um, every time I tried to make a move, she held me off, but held me off and then we kind of settled back. So it was just kind of, that wasn't a smooth race by any means. Um, but I'm just so happy that I made the team. That was really scary at the finish line. I just tried to lean as best I could. And how does it feel to beat Ellie? She's been the standard in US 1500 meter running the last couple of years. I think I was like a little bit in shock at the finish line when I saw the result. I didn't, I was just surprised. Um, but yeah, she's been a role model of mine and I always want to be able to compete with her and she's someone I really look up to. Thank, Thank you. you.